Oh, morning everybody. Welcome back. Simply snuff time. I'm in Whitby. Mrs M's not here. She's coming over. What day is it today? It's Wednesday. I'm posting tonight. Um, coming over tomorrow, I think. Uh, so I've got a couple of uh, things to talk to you about today. Uh, this is the one I'm on. This is the product. It's Samuel Gawith. Excuse me. Kendall Silky Dark mm, product. And I've got a selection of my hankies that I'm going to show you. Uh, this is by f nowhere near the amount of hankies I've got. It's just uh, the box I've got here to keep me going. I like a nice clean hanky. I don't like bits of paper. I don't like tissues. I don't like kitchen roll. I don't like toilet roll. <laughs> no, I don't like any of them. I like hankies. So I'm going to show you some of them and uh, I'll tell you where I got some of them from. I don't have them all. Uh, uh, and there's a couple in here, and I'm not quite sure where I got them from. But anyway, the ones that I know, I'll tell you where I got them from. Um, uh, spoiler alert, they're not cheap. No, there's one of them that's... Mm, and, and probably one of the better ones. Uh, have I got one here? Usually got one on me. No, I haven't. I don't know where it is. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter, does it? Because I'm going to show you. Uh, right, we've got this one. Silky Dark. Let's have a look. Put it in front of the lens, Simon, so our friends can see. It's dark, dark, like a dark thing. You get the base flower. It's a dark rustica. You get that. You get a little bit of sweety creaminess with it. Out the tin. Uh, let's give it a brottle round. Mm. Medium to fine, I would say. It, mm, it's not fine. It's not medium. It's somewhere in between, in my opinion. Oh man, now this is first thing uh, on the morning. What time is it? I don't know what time it is. Oh, I've got a new watch. Um, it's quarter past, uh, quarter past 8 a.m. Got a lot to do today. Going to be out and about. The weather's not looking so good. I'm looking straight up onto the Abbey, Whitby Abbey. The house looks out onto the Abbey from all of the, the windows at the back of the house. This is the front of the house. Or cottage, it's not a house, it's not big enough to be a house. It's an old fisherman's cottage. Don't smell a fish though. <laughs> How would I know? <laughs> this of me out <laughs> Oh, um, yeah, um, Grey Day Snuff's back. Uh, Sean, he's made a video, uh, took bubblegum, so uh, yeah, he's been away for a few months. I did drop him uh, a note and Asking if he was all right. Anyway, he's just sprung up and he's back on, not to do with me, uh, and he's, 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 he's back on YouTube. So uh, if you follow Grey Day Snuff, give him a look, give him a like. He's got that uh, top bubblegum product, which is quite interesting. I was going to review that and I put an order in and I forgot to, <laughs> I forgot to order it. Anyway, he's, he's, he's done my job for me. Right, come on. Tickly, 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 yeah, tickly. Ooh, get the base flower. Rather nice. I'm just trying to work out whether I'm going to sneeze because that's my first bump of the day. And it has got a tickliness about it. It's not a dripper though, uh, so you're not going to get any of that. I'm not getting a lot but the base flower at the moment. It smells lovely out the tin. Front of nose. Yeah, that's better. I got it a bit far back last time. I think it takes a little while for the uh, for the toppings to show themselves. I think I'm getting a little bit of creaminess, a bit of smokiness. Definitely get the base flower, which is nice. You're getting the base flower with this one. You know the toppings don't overwhelm the base flower they just all blend nicely together you definitely get a little smoothie creaminess with it which i like very much some people say they can get a bit of mown grass and stuff but i don't get that i don't get that at all big vitamin n with that rustica Whew. is that three bumps yeah now i'm getting it it's a stayer is a little bit of a tickly, no burn with it, no uh, menthol with it, none of, none of that nonsense, none of that business. Traditional, old-fashioned, 
creamy sweetness, great base flour, belting vitamin N, sits there, keeps on giving. Very nice, very nice. It's very welcoming when you bump it. You're saying, hello, mate, what do you think? I'll tell you what I think, I like it very much. It's a 25 uh, gram tin, by the way. Yeah, and it's, it's back to, you know, uh, what I would describe as a, a traditional product. It's not ram jam full of toppings and that dominate, that take over. It's just a blend of a great base flour and some nice creamy sweetness, a bit of smokiness, nice vitamin N, it sits in the nose, it tickles. Oh yeah, it's absolutely lovely. I think you need to go steady uh, if you with your vitamin N tolerance. Because uh, this is pretty, yeah, if it's a rustic here, it's absolutely loaded. Oh, that's it. That's it. Is that the fourth? Fifth? I don't know. That's it. Whoa, whoa, I'm on fire. Come on. Oh, man, that is absolutely dreamy. Oh. It took a while to light the fire and for it all to start coming through. Yeah, it just sits there for a little while, teasing you a bit. <laughs> then on it comes. My glasses are steaming up. <laughs> hey, mates. Oh, if you have no else to do, don't forget about my other channel, will you? Simply Whitbeat's doing really well and uh, it helps me keep going on this, uh, on this, uh, on this channel. Oh, God. God, God, bang it. Oh, man. Whoa. Now, whoa. That is absolutely top draw. Ding dong, ging gang gooly, Gordon Bennett, Snogger Frog, all of that stuff. Yes. Oh, mates. You have got to try. If you've never tried it, you've got to try it. Right, Ankies, can you see him? Is this camera low enough? Am I low enough? Am I high enough? I don't know. Right, here they are. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lift them out and show you. Uh, I'll show you in the box. You know, we've got loads in here. Um, it's only a fraction of what I've got. I don't like... If I... If, no, I don't... If I... No. Unless I forget my Anki, whenever I go out, or even the house, I've got, a, I've got a snuff Anki in my pocket. Right. These first three... Uh, from the enormous handkerchief company. You will find them online. I've written down here somewhere how much they were. I got six of them. There's only three here. I got six of them and uh, they cost, uh, no, that's a different one, um, 27 quid for six. I know. <laughs> but you're not throwing them away. I mean, they, look after these and wash them right. I use them regular, I don't, and I wash them on a regular basis. As you can see, they're nicely, nicely pressed and uh, nicely clean. The lighter ones are obviously a bit dangerous if you're taking something like uh, this uh, silky dark because you're going to get some, uh, yeah, <laughs> across it. Um, but they're absolutely beautiful uh, hankies. Let, oh, which one I'll show you? I'll show you this one because it's easier in the camera. There it is. Y you can probably, see, can you see that? The enormous handkerchief company. Absolutely glorious. They are massive. <laughs> well, it would be the enormous handkerchief company, wouldn't they? Absolutely glorious. Highly recommended. I know they're a bit on the pricey side. Uh, in my opinion, they're worth every single penny. I would say try. I try not to cut corners uh, on my handkerchiefs. I've got a. a a uh, check one in blue, I've got a check one in pink, um, I've got a check one in yellow. Right, let's have a look at these. What are these ones? Right, I think, I'm pretty sure that these are also <laughs> enormous handkerchief company, are they? Yes, they are. 
So I've got some polka dot ones. I got uh, I got the Czech ones. I got the polka dot ones. I think. Oh yeah, I got uh, in the polka dot. I got the pink. I got the blue, and I got red as well. I think this one is absolutely fantastic. I got it from Smoking Smoking in Otley, Yorkshire. You got it? I got a few from them. I don't know whether I've got any more in here. Uh, but these are absolutely fantastic. They've got a lovely selection. Um, I just fancied the Stars and Stripes. Uh, if you're from the US, I'm not trying to be rude or anything. It's just a handkerchief. Um, absolute, they're really good quality. I would say they're almost as big as the enormous handkerchief company. I would say, yes. Yeah, that's my thumbnail. Um, 475, did I say how much are they? 425, but you got postage on top of that. Sorry, I, I don't like my Yankees being all crumpled up. It, it, come on. Don't be a goon. There we go. You see, if you're going out and you've got that in your pocket and you've got an absolutely cracking tin of product, Life couldn't be better, in my opinion. Now, I got these from somewhere, but I don't know where the hell I got them from. Uh, they're not bad, uh, the Paisley ones, they're of a decent size. They're a little bit flimsy. Uh, they lack a big uh, character, but they are pure cotton. Everything I've shown you up until now is pure cotton. I only buy pure 100% cotton. Um, so these are Paisley. I've got a red Paisley. <laughs> I've got a blue paisley and I've got a green paisley. These are nice, but I, honestly, for the life of me, I can't remember where they are, I got them from. I've got another one of these as well. I think I bought four at the same time. Then I've got some oddments. Uh, I've got a normal hang. You see, these, they're all right. If I go out walking, I'll take one of these women because they're pretty small and... Uh, uh, the, the lovely quality though, uh, the small but the quality of them compared to the likes of this, you know, it's just a traditional pocket handkerchief. And what's wrong with them? You can get them for an absolute bargain, you know, on, you know who, Amazon and stuff. I've got a McChrystal's one here. This is lovely, pure cotton. Uh, it's got the McChrystal's logo on. I've got two of these, I think. Maybe three. I'm not sure. It's a lovely hanky. It's uh, it's a traditional hanky. It's hundred percent cotton. Again, it's a good everyday when you're out for a gargle. Shove that in your pocket. I've got another one. That's another uh, traditional one. This one's a little bit bigger. I like this one because it, it hides the. Uh, <coughs> um, you haven't got big brown boogies all over it. <sighs> Let's get this folded up. And then I'm going to show you, a lot of people ask me about these, and these, the next ones I'm going to show you, are probably the ones that I use the mostest. Uh, I got them from, I've written it down here, I got them off Amazon, uh, and they're called Basic Sense, Basic Sense, S-E-N-S-E, -E, Basic Sense. I think they're sort of bandanas. Uh, um, but they don't feel like bandanas. Uh, they come in uh, a mixed, uh, they come in a bag product. Come on, Simon. Five of them for eleven ninety nine. Now, I like, I use these more than I use anything, I think. I absolutely love them. Uh, they're a great, what does it say on them? 100% cotton, there you go. 100% cotton, can you see that? So they're from Basic Sense. I've had about three packs from them, so I probably, apart from stuff that I've lost, I, I always feel sorry for somebody when I've lost a hanky and they find it somewhere and, you know. <laughs> Get your rubber gloves on. <laughs> they come in some lovely colours. Uh, there's the blue, there's the green and yellow. Uh, there's another green one. Green. Um, we've got a blue one. Is that the same? Are they the same? Yeah, they are probably the same, but you can see the colours are a bit 
you know, I think they're an Indian product. I absolutely love these, the Basic Sense ones. They're just, you know, at that sort of money, I tell you again, Basic Sense, five for eleven ninety nine. I think it's postage free. And you might as well stock up on these. They're absolutely fantastic. And they're probably my go to hanky. So that's it, my friends. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to give uh, Sean at Grade A Snuff a look see. And uh, we'll see you on Sunday. You keep well. Have a fantastic day. See you later. Chin chin. Right, off we go.